Good morning. Have we talked to them yet today? Uh, no. No? Okay. Good morning, guys. We are on our way back up to Clough Ponds. We're going to go do some swimming. We're going to see if we can do some scuba diving there. A few years ago, Letty and I got scuba certified before we went to Tulum, Mexico for the second time. And when we did it, Niley really wanted to do it. She said it looked like a lot of fun. And uh, I guess at the time she was 10 or 11. And so we told her that if she still wanted to do it when she turned 12, we could we could give her the certification classes for her birthday. And so a year, year and a half rolled around and she still wanted to do it. And uh, so that's what she did for her 12th birthday. Now, since we've been in Arizona, we have not been diving for almost a year. So we wanted to make sure that she stays in the water. And so uh, we're gonna go up to Clough Pond and see if we can see anything there. It's obviously not Cozumel. The visibility is gonna be very, very poor. The big reason is just to get wet and to get in the water. <laughs> Dark, dark, dark down there. Visibility is probably like one or two feet. So we didn't really come hoping to see anything awesome. We came just to get in the water. And we got in the water. You're getting wet, wet Niley. How was it? <laughs> dark. <laughs> but we got wet. That's what we wanted to do. total success either. Uh, we did dive, we dove for just 10 or 15 minutes, but uh, the water is so cloudy, which I knew it was going to be the case, uh, that you really couldn't see anything. So, but that was the goal was to come and get wet, to get gnarly, to put all our gear together, put it on, just so she doesn't forget how to do it. So we'll probably go to somebody's pool one day next week and do it again for a few more minutes where we can see a little bit better. The kids had a a good time though swinging from the rope and swimming a little bit. So we just finished our home church and Bella brought up the idea to play home chopped. So we've divided the kids up into two teams. We've got team number one. Two, no two. two team number two right here. This is team number two. And team number one, where are you? Come on, come on. Team number one okay. right here. We still have not come up with the ingredients. So Letty and I are the judges and we are gonna go pick the ingredients that they have to include in their special meal. So they're on their way up, so I need to whisper a little bit. But this is what we got. We got 10 dates for each team. We've got about a tablespoon of cocoa powder, one cup of oatmeal, uh, probably a cup and a half of uh, coconut, and one cinnamon stick. That's what they've got to make something out of. So we're gonna let them come and see um, what the ingredients are, and we're gonna have lunch, and then uh, they're each gonna take turns cooking. Okay. And then come and see what we got. Does it exactly the same thing? So we have dates, but not with boys, cocoa powder, is 
So this is what are your ingredients. So you guys this have to figure out what you're gonna yeah. do. Hopefully something delicious because the elbow can marry. Because we're looking forward to it already. Yes. We're, we've got all kinds of ideas and they so all sound our good. Ideas in our so it better so be you good. Guys have to do it really good because I'm upset. Now. How's chopped going, guys? Pretty good. Good. Just getting cleaned up. Both teams have already gone. And uh, Letty and I decided we're going to join in. So we're going to do our own little version of it. For us, for little kids. And Wait we'll... a minute, hold on. He just told me that we're going to do it. Yeah, we, never asked me that we, we were just decided it. this a couple minutes ago. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Bye bye. So when we picked the ingredients, Letty and I were not planning on participating, but we thought, you know, maybe they can make some date cookies or something. Who knows? We still don't know what they made. Uh, because we haven't had the big reveal yet. But uh, right when team two was finishing up, Letty and I decided that we would participate as well. And this is what we came up with. You can see who's making it, by the way. No. No, I mixed it all up. I put it all through the blender. She's just rolling it up. You, do you have proof of that? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't. Can you remake it? Yeah. Uh-huh. So we just used the four ingredients that we put for them and then we added uh, some almonds and chia seeds. I think that's it, right? Yeah, to the four ingredients that we had. So oatmeal, dates, cinnamon, and coconut. So, little date balls. And it's just about time for the big reveal on this week's edition of Chopped at Home. Quarantine chopped. Okay, team one, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, what do you got? Tell us a little about it. So, um, we just kind of went with the flow and we just put ingredients together. Um, and so, right here at the bottom of all the apples, um, we have, um, we put, uh, got the dates and then we swilled them up and took the seeds and then we blended them with milk. And then, um, and the back there's a little heart right there, and that's made out of um, chocolate, cocoa powder, and chocolate. Mom, yeah. this one's dad's. And then this is this, but with milk, and it's blended up with ice, too. Dang. Mm -hmm. It's a little apple dip and a little chocolatey drink. All right. Very good. Looks good. Team number two. Wow, fancy. Got smudged. Got smudged. <laughs> we got weeds too. And we got weeds. <laughs> we got weeds on team two's plate. You need to mow the lawn. You need to mow your plate. Did y'all take the seeds out of this? Mm -hmm. So what do we got? We um, got dates. We cut them open, but not like all the way, so they like connected at the bottom, and we took out the seed. So the filling has four different fillings. So we cooked the oats with milk. We used cocoa powder. Put a little bit too much, so we had to make more. Interesting. Yeah. And then we sprinkled coconut on top. All right. Good. Looks okay. good. Looks pretty. Here's team three. Wait, or team mom and me. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa. 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 Date balls. Whoa. Date balls. So we just took the four ingredients that were there, and we added... What did we add? Chia seeds and oh, almonds. That's it. And that was it. Blended them up, made balls, and then coated them with ground up um, coconut. And orange juice. What's the orange green? Yeah, you want to try orange. your drink? Yeah, we'll try it here in just a second. Looks good, everybody. Did everybody have fun? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a mess, but... So as the official judge of this Chops Challenge, I declare everybody's a winner! <laughs> Yay! Mother's Day gifts. <laughs> Next week she'll be getting insulin shots. <laughs> it's time for haircuts, boys. Coco said he wanted to go first. I didn't hear him say that. Did. did you want to go first? Yeah, he said girl and he is. Huh? You want to go first? <laughs> or you want to go first? Uh, he said he wanted to. <laughs> I 
finish. Letty said it wasn't short enough. She's always saying, don't cut it so short, don't cut it too short. And she told me I didn't cut it short enough. So she's going over the sides with a shorter one. Well, I want to again see in the top. And so when it's too short, it has to be short. She wants a noticeable crew cut. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> All right, que guapo, yeah, what a smile. You need a smile. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right, so I made the deal. I said whoever got their hair cut first gets to cut the other's hair. <gasps> so, Hudson <laughs> gets to cut Coco's hair. <laughs> we gotta catch him. Where'd you go? <laughs> you think we can't get you out of there? What's up, Hudson? Looking sharp with that haircut, let me tell you. You don't think so? <laughs> Looking sharp. We are waiting for Letty right now. And uh, we're gonna go get hay for fajitas. We're running low on fajita food. So fajitas is our cow for those that don't remember or don't know. Looking sharp. At least a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. Nothing. Okay, we uh, just finished editing the latest video, so this is our sign-off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We still got Bella here for another few days. Adelise is still off in Washington for another few days. Hopefully you guys had a good week. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye.